What's up everybody? Welcome to the RT Clinic. Today's video is something I've wanted to do for a long time. This is an EpiPen and I've always just wanted to give myself one of these. I'm joking. That's not for real. It's a trainer and this doesn't even go in on it. But I want to do a real one today on a video. So let's go. So I've got three of them here. Obviously this is the trainer. This aspect doesn't even go in on it. If you use EpiPens, and these are EpiPen Juniors, and they're actually extremely expired, probably like 2011 on both of them, but they do have epinephrine in them, so I'll be playing uh, carefully with these today because I don't want to get amped up even more than I am and go to the ER for that. But this is a trainer, so specifically there's three steps to these, and if you take them, you'll know what the three steps are. First, you pull the blue top off to activate it right there. That's kind of like your safety, if you will. The second thing is, is you hold it like this in your hand or like this in your hand, okay? No thumbs over, don't do anything funky like that. And the next thing is, is you keep it at arm's length out to you and bring it in as hard as you can into your thigh. It's the best place to go and it is really the only place to go and you hold it there for 10 seconds. During that time, a needle is gonna come out of here and inject the epinephrine underneath your skin or subdermally. So that will actually decrease and slow down the allergic reaction. They always say to have two of them in case one doesn't work or mildly works, you can always take a second. So I'm gonna show you today what it looks like when I activate one of these and the needle comes out. Let's do it. All right, here we go. This gets a little bit sketchy here. So here's the actual live EpiPen. Remove it, remove the blue piece, like that. Now what I wanna do, this is ready to fire, baby, ready to go. What I wanna do is activate it into this plastic cup here. So I wanna see if the needle can go through the plastic cup when I push it down um, as I would simulate. Now I'll keep my hands back to make sure that I don't injure myself in the middle of this. Three, two, one. And remove. And there was my dose of epinephrine that was delivered through this plastic cup. As you can see, that popped right through, and there's a little epinephrine in there, which I'll dispose of appropriately. When I pulled this back up, it covered the needle, and everything was delivered. That's exactly what it sounds like, that pop when that went in. Let's watch it back in slow motion. One of the keys to this is after you use one of these, this is actually the live one, after you use one of these, you take it to the hospital with you, you put it in the sharps because after you use one, you gotta go to the hospital. This is not like give myself an injection and then see you later. I'm just gonna stay home and chill and keep doing what I'm doing. You give yourself this in an emergency, you call the ambulance or you go to the hospital, you take it with you, take both of them with you because that'd be really nice to know which one you took. Maybe you took a junior on accident the dosage is on here and the clinical staff will need to know that. So like my videos, you know, there's only 7% of people that watch my videos that are actually subscribed. So subscribe below. I have some badge buddies that you can buy. Actually, they're on Etsy now. I'll link them in the description. And if you like my videos, share it. I might actually put this on a short too and see you later.